Dr. Tim Korb of the Computer Science Department is setting up an interactive video wall in Lawson to improve student involvement in computer sciences. Um, what gave you the idea for this project? Uh, well, six or eight years ago when we started designing this building, I, we were going to have this large common space and uh, we have an active research group in computer graphics and I thought it would be a nice connection to have, be able to do high performance uh, computer graphics and other videos in a place where we have lots of people gathering. How long did it take to put this project together? Uh, well, we were unfunded for a long time, but it, once we got the funding from Harris Corporation, it's taken us about uh, six months to get it organized and set up. What materials went into making this project? You mean what, like what components, what equipment are we using? Yes. Well, the equipment is mostly from Harris Corporation. They have a broadcast division. And they make uh, computers that connect and, and uh, drive video walls, and they have software that runs those computers. So they provided the bulk of the, of the computers. Each display, the displays are made by NEC, uh, and each display is, is connected to one of the 16 computers that's up in our data center. Uh, those all work together to take a video, a movie for example, over the internet and divide it up into 16 pieces and display each piece of the movie on the corresponding monitor. What will be displayed on these screens? Uh, well, we're trying to decide. There will be a lot of things uh, ranging from computer graphics that come from our research group to uh, movies where we can get the appropriate licensing. Uh, we're also getting boiler TV in here. Uh, we can have RSS feeds with uh, weather, and bus schedule, um, uh, news, stock market data. We can have videos at the university uh, broadcast on a regular basis like the president's uh, forums, uh, the, the, um, uh, the football games, if we can get them over the, or basketball games, if we can get them over the sports uh, network uh, appropriately, um, any, any other kinds of videos that, are, that happen uh, on campus, uh, also things like um, educational videos, if faculty have videos that they've released for their classes that we can uh, connect to and display, uh, we can do that. Any, any, any video that can, we can get from the internet or get from some source, we can display it on the wall. What do you hope students or other people will get out of seeing this? Um, we think they'll get a, a number of things. Uh, there, certainly entertainment will be, will be one of it. Uh, there's also an educational aspect for uh, when we have, what we hope to have, for example, the ability for students to come in with a a smartphone and bring up on the wall in maybe one of the 16 windows a particular uh, video that they want to see, something from one of their classes, uh, some tutorial that they want to see, and they'll be able to use their smartphone and the headphones to listen to the audio and watch the video on the, on the screen. So they'll be able to get educational benefit from it, uh, informational benefit, things like the weather and, and the news uh, from various news sources will also be uh, available. We also think, I think there's a lot of entertainment and, and um, art, artistic possibilities here because the wall is completely programmable so you can, you can move objects around on the, on the screen and you can do, uh, set it to music or, or do other kinds of imaginative uh, artistic renderings that uh, I'm working with some of the people in the art department to try to create some performance pieces that would be displayed on the wall.